Hello everyone, mainly this video is about how you can uh, quickly set up Selenium WebDriver. Uh, I'm going to use most of the existing code which I showed in the video number one for Selenite. And uh, so all these classes are going to be exact. Um, this is going to be really fast video. So main purpose of this video is going to be how you can actually compare uh, using Selenium versus Selenide. Uh, which would be part of the follow-up videos to this. So this one is just for that comparison purpose. I'm creating a quick uh, Selenium uh, new uh, new project. Uh, so to do that, I have already set up the brand new uh, folder, like new folder. There is nothing here. I'm going to use this directory in order to create this project. So um, earlier video, we just had uh, three files here. So one is a Chrome driver, which is a which is the one that would launch the browser. We had a browser class that had all uh, how to instantiate uh, the web drivers, and then we had uh, had uh, the browser test class which actually ran the test. Uh, we're going to use all of the same classes and packages uh, in this new one. So, but only thing is the library different. So we're going to create a new project file new. So this step is not new for you because I already showed that in a part one video. Uh, so if this is too fast, please go back to part one and then um, uh, look at that. So it will help you. Um, here I already had the SDK installed the 14 versions. So that's what I will be pointing out. So it is uh, where my directory is installed at. It will be in uh, C program files, um, uh, Java, and then you would pick up the JDK folder. So that's what this is about. And it has to be Maven selected because we're going to run through Maven um, and then we will hit next. Uh, here I'm going to write, uh, we're going to do uh, pretty much the same uh, packaging instructions. So this is going to be Selenium, Selenium uh, demo, let's say Selenium test demo. The location would be which I selected here, so that would be this blank one. So here's no, nothing here. We're gonna select that empty folder. Um, this one is going to be on the selenium selenium that demo, and then we'll hit finish. I'm gonna copy this package again. Uh, hit finish. I'll open in a new window because we need to copy some of the stuff here. Okay, um, so this is already set up. So first of all, I need to create a new folder called uh, drivers, which is where our uh, web driver is going to be set. So if I look at the back one, uh, Selenide one, it has this driver file. I'm going to copy that file over and put it in that drivers folder. So we get drivers set up. Um, that is downloaded from um, from uh, Chrome driver installation uh, source, and then uh, main Java test Java. So for the main Java, we're going to create a new package here called on the Selenium the demo. I'm going to copy that package, and we're going to keep the same in the test as well. After that, we're going to copy this library here from the other project. So we'll go to this palm.xml and I'll copy everything from here all the way through that. Control C. And then I come back here and I just select that. I'll remove that here and I'll put that everything back there. Only thing I don't want in this one other than that video is the selenide part. This is going to be solely uh, selenium, so I don't need any other selenide items. And I save that, control F for saving. Now I go back to this package, uh, and I'm going to create a new class called browser. Uh, in fact, I can just copy that from there. So browser is copied from that class, and then I'll just paste it here, control V. So browser is out there, and I'll also copy the other class called the browser test, and then I'll just put it there inside the test. Okay, so things are going to be a little uh, faster here, which is okay. We're going to run the build. We just copied some of these items, and we're going to go there and clean up again. 
Web driver runner is going to be not needed because that's coming from selenide. So we're going to remove that. So it's going to be fully selenium. When we go back here, uh, obviously we don't want those selenide. Uh, we need them. They are coming from selenium. And then I go back to browser test here and I don't need that either. either. So what I'm going to do is web driver browser.get driver and here it is going to be selenium steps driver.get so those are all what we need here um, I haven't saved this all I'll save it all and I'll refresh this here quickly with the maven icon and we're gonna run this maven build here so it's gonna update everything so maven clean is the package we're gonna do that and it will start cleaning this up uh, by itself so here we need to import this if you see that already imported we don't need that here what i need is we need to cut alt enter so that got imported we are clean here go back here everything is clean here as well and then driver so we basically have here just two classes and this is mainly just a chrome I'm going to save it all. Everything I see some errors, so I'll let one more time clean build. So we're just going to clean all of the errors that we have. Okay, we got build success. So, what that means is our all libraries are installed into our local app default. Now going back to one more time recap, we, we just copied everything over from our older uh, other Selenite project. So mainly we even kept the uh, directory as well, package structure. We had three classes. This is going to be exact comparison with Selenium and, Selenium and Selenite. So that's why we're kind of trying to keep up with exact same. Browser is the class that would instantiate the web driver. So if you see here, it had all web driver. Only thing different with this and that is this browser will not have um, other steps. So if you see browser in the Selenide, you see only this part. This is required for Selenide to work. And then for Selenium, you don't need this part. Web driver runner. So mainly Selenide's element will look out for the driver from this class. So that's what we had to set it. Uh, for Selenium, we don't need that because we're going to access directly with the web driver driver, right? This instance. That's the only thing. Everything else, in, like instantiating web driver, everything remains the same for both versions. Uh, so the main difference we're going to see is when we actually start using uh, phase object, which is a locators like finding elements, and those are the ones Selenium gets more valuable. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, only thing this one has. So this is already selenide, carbonide. And then let's go back to that. So we're going to run a quick test, which is mainly exact same test, launch the browser. So this one has a driver.get as opposed to just open. Um, and then this is just going to print out and then this is going to just close the browser. So we're going to close the browser, close browser there. We're just gonna run this. We want this site to be launched as well as close the browser. That's only our test for now. Okay, that means browser is started and then it is doing some of the work. Browser opened, everything good. So Selenium worked. We just want to make sure Selenite also works, so we're gonna run that as well. So here we got that um, browser test. We'll just run it here. This is opening the browser, so that's the difference. It's coming from Selenium. Okay, the driver is started, and you see the page launched, it closed. Both of the versions are working exactly fine. So now, follow up to this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start. You know, developing some of the page objects, classes, and we're going to automate this browser uh, site for some of the items. 
And then we're going to show how you can you know, use selenide and take more advantage over selenium. Uh, so that is all. This is going to be just because of that comparison purpose I'm creating this video. So it's a little bit faster, but which is okay because uh, we basically just use all the libraries. Only thing different is here as well as, uh, as, well as here. So everything is kind of duplicate work now. Uh, so please do follow up after this video. Uh, that's going to be more helpful and we're going to uh, put more stuff there. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please, if you have not, subscribe my channel and support my channel. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.